So, the video game curse is most likely done. It's done, and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's the curse of video games being translated to the big screen. And uh, <clears throat> they've ne it hasn't been a good track record so far. I mean, we all remember Mario Brothers. We all remember Tomb Raider. Doom, which was... Whew, that was bad. The only cool th part of Doom was uh, the whole first-person shooter thing that they did. That was a cool throwback. But, you know, all the all these movies that have come through being based off video games, I think the closest we ever got to a decent movie was the first and maybe second Resident Evil movies. After that, Resident Evil just kind of started going downhill. The third one wasn't too bad, but I just went downhill from there. And... I saw the Tomb Raider movies, they were forgettable. I saw Mario Brothers, it's laughable. I enjoyed it because I was like eight. But other than that, like if I watch it now, it's no, it's bad. The Mortal Kombat movies, eh. The first one was, yeah, it wasn't too bad. And the second one was just a whole bunch of cameos, which was highly disappointing, to be honest. Uh, but Detective Pikachu looks like it finally broke the curse, which. I mean, it's a good sign. When we first got the trailers for Detective Pikachu, everything looked stellar. The way the Pokemon were designed looked great. Um, you know, having Ryan Reynolds as Pikachu fit, even though people were like, oh, we, it should be Danny DeVito instead. You know, Ryan Reynolds did a fantastic job. Every time I hear him speaking, like, or, you know, hear his voice through Pikachu, it just seems to fit well. Uh, granted, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of Deadpool at the same time and Hal Jordan, but that's, you know, we don't need to mention Green Green Lantern, but whatever, whatever, you know, it's, it's nice to see people go to this movie and actually like the movie. Everybody that I've spoken to has actually enjoyed Detective Pikachu. I can't say the same thing for critics, but, you know, critics are critics. They're going to say whatever BS they're going to say, and... Just because a critic says one thing doesn't necessarily mean that the audience doesn't like it. There's been plenty of times where critics are like, this movie's garbage, and I enjoy the movie. Same thing vice versa, where critics are like, oh, this movie's fantastic, and I'm just like, eh, it sucks. I don't like Titanic. I don't like The Notebook. I, you know, there's tons of movies that critics are like, oh, my God, this is the best movie ever. And I'm like, this movie kind of sucks. It's boring. Really not interested in it. Granted, the movie's not made for me. It's probably made for like a certain demographic or whatever. But whatever the case is, I mean, I go and watch it. It's not a movie for me. Um, Detective Pikachu, I do, I do want to go see it. I haven't seen it yet with my kids, but I do want to go see it. Just you know, last weekend was Mother's Day, so we'll probably go see it this upcoming weekend with my kids. Um, and you know, I, I know for a fact I'm gonna enjoy the movie. I I like the way that everything looks in the movie. Uh, I know my kids are going to enjoy it, and I think that's one of the things that will probably make me enjoy it is the fact that my kids will enjoy it as well. So it's a good movie for a family to go watch. And to see you know, a lot of people who have seen the movie saying that it's a good movie and that it's enjoyable to watch as a family, great. You know, I don't think it's a movie that I would go watch by myself, not because I'm an adult, there's nothing to do with it. I just don't feel like it's a movie for just like me to go watch by myself. It's it's a, it's a family made movie, and I feel like if I watched it by myself, I would be missing out on the experience of watching it for the first time with my kids. It's almost like when I went to go watch Dragon Ball Super, uh, the Broly movie. Yeah, I could have gone to watch it by myself, and it would have been just fine because there would have been plenty of uh, people my age watching that movie. But I went to go see it with my daughter, my oldest daughter. Uh, when I went to go see it in the theaters and I got to enjoy it on a much higher level because I got to enjoy it with my daughter, with my kid. Uh, granted, I didn't take my youngest to go watch it, uh, not because of the violence and everything, but because she was in school. Me and my daughter were both sick that day. So I was like, you know what? Instead of just staying in the house, let's go watch the movie. So her and I, we went to go watch the movie in the theater. And, uh, and so, you know, it made that experience better. So Going to go watch Detective Pikachu with my family will give me that experience that I wouldn't get if I was to go watch it by myself, uh, which would probably make it that much more enjoyable, to be honest. And I, I feel like, you know, being true to the Pokemon designs and, and how, the, how they 
Uh, they textured Pikachu's hair, the way that Charizard looks, Charmander's look, the way that um, they studied animal behavior and actually put it into the Pokemon was it, it's just it's a fantastic idea and it's a fantastic attention to detail. So things like that, the I always say the little things in games and movies they matter so much to the fact to the or to the point that if they didn't do all those things this movie would have just flopped hard would have flopped hard now it didn't beat avengers endgame but i mean let's be honest endgame is just fantastic and when you have 10 11 years build up to that one movie that one event because it becomes more than a movie it becomes an event uh, it's kind of hard to knock that down. So, with that being said, Detective Pikachu still held its own very well in the theaters. So, that's always a positive. Always a positive. And as of right now, me making this movie, it's sitting at a... Or making this movie, not... As of right now, reported for May 12th for, you know, uh, the weekend box office, it's sitting at a worldwide total of 166 million which is not bad especially on a budget of 150 million so again uh it's i feel like the curse is finally broken for bad video game movies let's see what happens with sonic um i mean they're saying they're gonna fix the sonic design so we can only hope right now on how sonic is gonna go moving forward but Hopefully, hopefully, they do make the adjustments. The movie turns out to you know to be decent, and we get to have a good time watching the Sonic movie because Jim Carrey as as Doctor Robotnik just looks like a lot of fun. So I'm I'm actually looking forward to seeing the redesign of Sonic. That might make me want to watch the movie. I don't know yet. Only time will tell on that. They still got a while for Sonic movie. Um, but if you guys seen the Detective Pikachu movie, let me know if you enjoyed it. Don't no spoilers, nothing. I mean, just tell me if you enjoyed it. Tell me if it followed the game. Uh, even though I haven't played the game, my daughters played the game a ton. I bought the game for her, um, and and she's just played it nonstop, and she beat all three difficulties of it, and you know. She's moved on now to Ocarina of Time, which makes me so happy that she's playing that game. Uh, But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the Detective Pikachu movie down below in the comments section. With that, I will catch you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.